But I found Fade Cloud, and oh my gosh, guys, I'm not even joking. There's 244 players on Fade Cloud right now. 244. <laughs> Hey there guys, MCB here, and today we are going to be starting a brand new series on the Fade Cloud server. Now, Fade Cloud, as you may have guessed by the fact that everyone's holding a pickaxe, is a prison server. I've actually been wanting to play Minecraft PC Prison for such a long time, really, like a really, really long time. And I've uh, been looking around for some good servers. And I think, honestly, this is probably one of the best ones. This is definitely the biggest one I've seen, like, by far. The first one I was looking at was one on uh, the Neme Gaming Network. Neme Gaming. Uh, and it looked like a huge thing. It looked like it was going to have 800 players because they went to the... Well, not 800, but the network itself, when I checked it out, had, like, 850 players. And I went onto the forums and the main topic was prison. So I thought that that was going to have the most players since, you know, I had the most forum posts. But no, it had like 40 players the first time I uh, looked at it, and the second time it had like 15. So you know, that was a little weird. Um, I don't know why like no one played that, but no one played it. So then I went to Jartex Network, which I actually considered a very long time ago uh, as a cracked network, because it's a, it's a cracked network, uh, and I was considering that back when I was playing Conspiracy Craft. Uh, after Conspiracy Craft, I actually considered playing on Jartex, um, but I decided against it. I think it was because I wanted to get YouTuber rank on it, and then I didn't end up getting YouTuber rank on it. Or something like that. I don't know. I wanted YouTuber rank for whatever reason. Um, but I decided I didn't. I wasn't going to go for it. Um, so, yeah. But I checked out the prison on there, and it was much better than Neme. It had, like, 40 players on when Neme had 15. Uh, so I would have assumed it had probably, like, 100 around the time that Neme had 40. But, again, I just didn't really want to, and I looked at the YouTube rank requirements again, just because I remembered I wanted that before for whatever reason, and I couldn't get them. I was very, I was very close, but I would have needed 100 views per, um, Jartex network video, and that's just, that's just not gonna happen. You have to build up a community on Jartex before you can get 100 views per video, and I can't build up, a community without YouTube rank, and I need the 100 views for the YouTube rank. It's like an endless, it's a dilemma, basically. But I found Fade Cloud, and oh my gosh, guys, I'm not even joking. There's 244 players on Fade Cloud right now. 244. Yes, I'm not ha more than half the server is playing on Fade Cloud right now. That or on Prison. That's amazing. This is by far the biggest I've ever seen. This is like. This is this could rival Jailbreak MC, which is Sunday's prison server. This could rival, uh, well, actually, it does rival. It's much higher than, or much uh, larger than Club Obsidian that Adam played on. It's amazing. But instead of you know rambling on and on about how good this is, uh, even though it's pretty great, we're gonna start now. If you guys see right up here, I don't know if you guys can see my cursor, but on the right, I think you should be able to see my cursor. I set it up that way. You guys can see it says rank slash mine, and that I am currently a rank. So let's do slash mine, and it will take us to the A mine. Now, for you, those of you unfamiliar with how prison works, I don't really expect very many of you to be that, but I'm sure there's one or two. Even though I just completed an MCPE prison series, um, basically the way it works is you are taken to these mines, which have specific uh, like ores, resources, stuff you can get. Uh, on Mythic Miner, mine A was uh, oak, uh, oak, um, oak logs, and I believe it was stone, maybe dirt, maybe dirt. No, it was dirt and oak wood uh, logs. There wasn't any stone. And uh, on here, it's different. It's actually more overpowered. It's stone and coal. And basically, you, uh, as you can see. You mine as much as you can, and then you sell it, and dispose of them if you don't want it, of course. But yeah, you mine as much as you can, you sell it, and you guys can see down here, uh, right above my hotbar, I have 1.2. You grind up to 100, and then you can rank up. It's as simple as that. You guys can see my balance over here is 599, it wasn't just like that. And I believe my orbs are also growing. Is that true? It looks like they are. Maybe. Mind some stuff. Yeah, you can see my orbs just went up to 920k. My balance is 10k. 
and I am already extremely, and when I say extremely, I mean extremely close to getting uh, mine beat. Like, that's how fast we're going to be able to do this. I don't know why this stuff's not going into my inventory. I assume it maybe it's auto-selling or something like that. I'm not exactly sure, but as you guys can see, mine A, here we go, and then, what is it, rank up? Yep, there we go. And the next rank is C, 200,000, and I gained 5,000 orbs just from that. And I'm relatively close to 1 million orbs, to be honest. And we're going to be able to get to mine B very soon as well. Now, it looks like a lot of these people are in mine whatever already. But I think that this number right here is the Wardrin. Like, I'm in I'm B rank, but I think you can go, okay, I've just sold. Okay, so it's automatically selling stuff for me. That's awesome. That is seriously awesome. But I think the way this works, I'm not 100% sure, so, like, don't quote me. But I think there's, like, 26 wards, like, A to Z wards. And then in each of those wards, there's the different mines. So, like, there's uh, A ward, uh, mine A, or ward A, mine A. And then ward A, mine B, all the way to ward A, mine Z. And then it goes to ward B, mine A, to ward ward B mine Z. Basically, there will be another ward A after this, because at the rate I'm going, I'm going to be to, like, mine Z ward A in literally no time, like, probably by episode 2 or something like that. So, I think that this goes, like, plenty of wards. Like, you can see these people on 0, I would assume, are on, like, the very first ward, and then B and uh, C, and this guy's uh, D, E... And there was a guy up here who had like 15, yeah, 11, and there's another guy with 15, I thought. Yeah, you can see 15, Bedrock. So I think that's kind of, I think that possibly these wards are how it works, because looks like all the ones with zero have platinum. Yeah, platinum, and, but that guy doesn't have platinum. He's just a member, so I'm, I'm not, I'm not fully sure how this works, but what I can tell is that's definitely going to be pretty cool. I will, uh do a little bit of research into this to try to figure this out. And by the way, I just want to show you guys about top. It's... I don't have access to it. Okay. Yeah. I have 100k already. If I do bow top, I am 95% sure that there's somebody who has at least a trillion. At least somewhere in the trillions. I would not be surprised. Um, but yeah, we're already two-thirds of the way to mine B because mine A is extremely overpowered. Well, not extremely overpowered, but much more overpowered than it was back on, like, Mythic Miner. So, you know, that's that's definitely good. I'll be able to get to mine C just in this first episode. Probably even to, like, mine D. Maybe even mine E. I'm not, I'm not sure. But mine C, I can definitely see us getting to, so no need to worry about that. Uh, and here we are. We are at 93%. So, if I just mine a little bit more, and here we go. 100% rank up. Now, I believe we can do warp C. Yeah, there we go. And this is the C mine. As you guys can see, it is a ton of uh, coal. It's much more coal than stone. So, this is going to help us rank up even faster than warp A. I probably should have gone to warp B immediately, but I didn't. I would say that maybe the way that this works is that, like, um... You start off just at, like, coal-stone combinations or something like that. But I'm not sure because there's already so much coal that that just wouldn't make any sense, to be honest. But, yeah, I'm just trying to figure out how exactly wards here go, because there's, like, mine and wards. It's, it's weird. But I'm sure that there's multiple wards. At least 15 wards, because I saw the guy with 15 earlier. But yeah, you guys can see we are already 50% of the way through, and we've fallen down to the bottom, so I'm going to warp back to the top. Hope we don't fall down again. But yeah, this is insane. This server is honestly just really fun. I should probably do this. I don't really need to have... Yeah, this makes me a little bit less laggy. Of course, there's all the particles which are making me a lot more laggy. But yeah, this is making me actually be able to like play at 60 frames a second. Well, actually, right now I'm getting 100 and something. When I'm not mining, I'm getting like 200. When I am mining, I'm getting... Well, it depends how much I'm mining, of course. Uh, 80. Warp C. When I am mining, like, if I'm fully covered in blocks and stuff, I'm getting about 70 frames a second. Which is still pretty good. And 90%. So, in just a moment, we should be at 
100. 100%. So let's rank up. There we go. We've ranked up to D. Now let's see what D is. I would assume that's probably just coal. Probably just coal. So let's do work D. It, it, oh, wow, that's taken. It's, so it's, it's stone, it's coal, and it's also, like, this type of coal. Lots of coal. So, you know, that's pretty cool and everything. Uh, the bad thing is, though, that this mine is completely ravaged, basically. Oh, okay. Yeah, it's completely ravaged. It's got way too many players. Or not too many players. Yeah, way too many players that have been using it. And so, yeah. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. Uh, with the amount of blocks here. I don't know if I'll be able to make it to Miney in this video, but I should probably be able to do it soon. Oh, look at all these cold blocks. There's a lot of them. A ton of them, actually. I should probably try to get as many as possible. Uh, and I am sorry, by the way, for, like, look at this. I've already sold 1.5 million. But I, I am sorry, just for the record, I am sorry that I haven't been able to uh, play on OreoCraft for longer. Because I did sort of enjoy the server. It's just, it's kind of boring after a certain point, if that makes any sense. Like, once you build the farms, you don't really have much else to do. It's just like, yeah, you have the farms, so you just AFK them for a while, and that's basically the rest of the stuff you do. I mean, you could make, like, a farm of every type, but it's just not a fun. Like, Random Craft, at least, had its own twist, because there were warps you could go to, and, like, many more blocks, a lot more players. There was a community and stuff. But here, it, or not here, but on OreoCraft, it was just like, you had s 10 players on that time, half of them were AFK, and yeah, it wasn't as fun as I had expected it to be. I thought a partnership with a server would have been really cool, but like, I got basically nothing out of it, and they didn't get much out of it either, because nobody from the community really watched my videos. I'm, I hope, though, that I at least brought some of you guys to OreoCraft. That's what I hope, that I at least introduced a few of you guys to the server, because the server does deserve to grow. If the server grows, it's going to get more players and hopefully become more fun over time, and I may return in the future, but for right now, I think that OreoCraft is going to be put on hiatus. Uh, the series has at least ended, in my opinion. I'm probably not going to go back there, because um, I don't foresee it ever getting as big as it would need to be. Like, Random Craft, you only need, like, 30 it's probably it's, it's probably the same on OreoCraft to get like 30 players on at once, but without a community of that size, it's not going to be a very fun server, and they're not going to have enough people to work on the server or enough motivation to do it, even if they did have enough people. So I just kind of see OreoCraft dying out, even though it basically just started. I mean, the first OreoCraft died out. I know that. Which is kind of why I'm hoping it doesn't go the same way with Infernal, because I could I could see that happening on Infernal, because Infernal's got a very small player count too, but Infernal's definitely not understaffed. The main thing though that we do need is YouTubers, so if any of you guys from uh, Minecraft PE are watching this, and you're YouTubers, then you know, hit us up. We'll, we'll see if we can set you up with some sort of YouTuber rank and perks and stuff, because we are kind of desperate for YouTubers right now. And there we go, we are now rank F. Okay, so Warp F. Oh, what? Mine F? There we go. No, my, that's... No... What? F. Why is it warping me to E? Okay. Mine E. Mine D. What? Oh, the next rank is F. Okay. So this is... This has iron ore. Alright. That's pretty nice, to be honest. That's... That's pretty nice. But I think I'm going to end the video here. I discussed a little bit about uh, OreoCraft and everything, as well as, you know, how the server works. I definitely think it's very fun. I've got to, I've got to, like, change my textures around because this stone is not laggy at all, but this texture is, I believe, 128 by 128. Like, look at how refined that texture is. It's 128 by 128. Same for this one, and this is 16 by 16. So I'm going to have to edit these in my texture pack, even though they look freaking amazing. I'll just have to keep them on my main no-lag texture pack, and, uh, yeah. Because I do have two texture packs. One of them is a lag-free one, and one of them is a, um, like, good-looking one. So I'm going to have to take these out of the lag-free one to hopefully make it so that I don't get... Well, let's jump down here and see how many frames I'm getting. Uh, so once I've got all these chunks loaded up, just looking straight down, I'm not even, like, doing anything... I get, well, I should probably take it out. 
I'm getting around 30 frames a second. And right here looking up, I'm getting 25. So I've definitely got to take these out. Maybe lower the block textures. See if I can do that so that I can actually record better. Even when I'm doing like F1, which usually improves my frame rate by a lot. Actually, right now I'm getting like 100. But I look up and I get 50. It depends where I am, but yeah. But anyways, I hope you all enjoyed this video. I will be starting a new series of this. Uh, hopefully there's going to be two episodes a week if I'm able to stay on schedule, and I probably will be able to. It'll be a little bit hard for this next three weeks uh, because there's people in my house doing construction. They're going to be done with my uh, room, though, within the next few days, so I'm not going to have to worry about that. But anyways, hope you all enjoyed this video. Leave a like, subscribe, and peace. Okay. Oh, 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 oh,